I've spent about $275,000 on all the projects, garage builds, and everything I'm filmed. So that uh, $1,600 I've earned on YouTube is about half a percent of what I've actually spent. Well, it's been a while. And today we're gonna discuss, is YouTube really worth it? So let's jump right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. The channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage while I figure out how to build my dream garage and work on project builds. So I started this channel about uh, July 2019. And since then I put about 109 videos out and 73 of them were in 2020. You see, I love working in the garage. I've owned three houses in my life. I'm 32 and, well, 33, who knows? And every house that I've had, I've had a workshop in the garage. But this house, I went extreme. And when I got this house, I decided it would be a cool thing to film building this garage out. So, you know, a lot of money later, I built this garage out and I decided, hey, if I'm gonna do this, there was a lot of unanswered questions I had when choosing the right components. I decided to buy a lot of stuff and then give you guys reviews on how they are and if they're worth it. Now, I'm not 100% happy with the looks of the garage, but it is a 100% functioning garage. You see, I've built a lot of things in here, I've done a lot of projects in here, and it is the perfect workshop. But that being said, there's always room for improvement. So now that you see why I started filming and then how it evolved to what it is today, let's talk about is YouTube really worth it? Now, as I said earlier, in 2020, we're just looking at 2020 because I started halfway through 2019, I put about 73 videos out. And those videos with ad revenue got me $837. Keep in mind, I only hit that, uh, I think, thousand threshold in June. So that's really half the year. So let's just say if it was a full year, maybe I would have made 1600. Now some of the benefit with me doing all these projects and tool reviews is I actually use the tools, I buy the tools, and then if you guys wanna buy the tools, there's links down in the description to below where if you use that link, I get a little commission. It's called affiliate marketing. So out of the affiliate marketing, I made another $940. Now let's look at my audience on YouTube and who follows me. Well, 72% of you guys are from America, 6% are Canada, 3% are UK, and the rest are scattered all over the world. 98.6% are male. So clearly I don't have the good looks on my side, otherwise that you know female count would be a bit higher. The biggest drivers to my channel were actually that cabinet set behind me. And I have three different types of cabinets in my garage. I have that one behind me, which is the new age, Bold. I have that one in the far distance, which is the New Age Pro. And then I have my actual tool set with all the tools in there, which is Sonic. Now, all of them are at different price points, and that's why I got three different sets, is to help you guys figure out which ones are better for you at a different price point. Now, when you look at YouTube as a whole for me, let's go into how much effort I put into filming. Well, you see, it takes, let's say, 50% longer, 50 to 100% longer to do a project if you're filming it. And then it adds another one to three hours of editing after I've done filming it uh, so you guys can see it. So with the 73 videos I put out in 2020, it got me 16,000 hours of watch time, 2,100 subs, and I made a grand total of about $1,600. Now that is terrible if you're looking at my hourly wage versus filming and editing and to that $1,600. But you wanna know what makes it even worse? I've spent about $275,000 on all the projects, garage builds, and everything I'm filmed. So that uh, $1,600 I've earned on YouTube is about half a percent of what I've actually spent. So is YouTube worth it? If you look at it that way, it's completely not worth it and it's a waste of time. But I'm not doing this for the money of YouTube. I mean, it would be great if I could cover all my costs, but you know, I would have done all these builds with or without the YouTube channel. I just have the time now where I can film and edit for you guys, and hopefully you like the content. So what's this mean for me and you in 2021 with Gas Tax Garage? Well. Maybe I'll spend another $300,000 and get $1,600 of revenue. That's not the goal because I pretty much bought everything I wanted for the next couple of years. 
but that means I'm still going to be filming. I still have a lot of plans and a lot of builds to do. I have most of all the products I've purchased to do the builds. I just haven't had the time to get it done. So 2021, lots of projects. I spent about 400 hours building an off-road, off-the-grid camper. Those videos are coming soon. I also have to do a couple odds and sods. I need to put a carburetor in my TW200. If you guys watch Bikes and Beards, I recently won this mini bike from them on their YouTube channel. So I'm gonna make assembly of this, uh, maybe teach my daughter how to ride and have some fun with that. Behind me is my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. I have a lot more work to do on that. Right behind me there is a two inch Mopar lift. I got some bigger tires for that, so I gotta do that and a bunch more work there. Behind me is my wife's 2020 Expedition that we've made overlanding ready. I got some tweaks to do with that and then I'll have some videos for you there. Now, what I've been doing for this month off is I've actually traveled America. I've done uh, roughly about six and a half thousand miles in my camper that I built off the road and off the grid and it works out fantastic. There was an unfortunate occasion where I was covered in that brown stuff that get stored in some tanks, but that's for another story. But guys, starting now, there'll be regular content. I hope to double the amount of content, if not triple the amount of content I put out for you guys. But let's be honest, it'd be great if I made a bit more money to pay myself back for the $300,000 of projects I've spent. So guys, 2021, my promise to you, more content, more regularly scheduled content. Uh, I got a garage build coming up with another YouTuber, hopefully. It's not finalized, but I think you guys will like that because garage builds is really what I like doing. I like seeing work working spaces come out looking as they planned. I'm gonna be changing up my layout a bit here. That'll probably be middle to later in the year, but uh, I've done all the builds well. I would have done all the builds I needed to this year, and I just need more space. And in the cupboards, the problem with more storage is more clutter. So I need to clean it all out and I want to repaint this garage. So lots to do. So if you can tell, I'm a bit rusty at filming because I've been away for some time. But don't worry, I'll be right back in it pretty soon. But be sure you like, subscribe so you don't miss any of the 2021 content. But until next time, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in and I'll see you next time.